this week on Along for the Ride. Okay, have a great day. So we're heading to Orem over to Vineyard to um, give a customer an estimate on adding a bathroom in their basement, it sounds like. So we will head over there and look at it, see what it's gonna take and go from there, give them some, some options. I'm Eric Nacy. I am a service plumber at Any Hour Services one of the elite. Cool. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Doing good. good. You Brad? Yeah, I am. I'm Eric. Hey. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. So what I could do is just kind of um, break it down stage wise for you yeah, yeah if you wouldn't mind doing that absolutely that absolutely okay so while we're down here if you don't mind we just check the water pressure for you on the water heater and just do a quick look over so where we're at now is just straight looks like city pressure we're at 145 so that is huge that's through the roof we'll just check your expansion tank real quick okay. It is, it looks like it's on the wrong side. It should be on your cold side. We would have to move that over. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. your guys' house, you guys do what you want. I'm just here to give you yeah. some, some options. And... A lot of times it leads to other issues. Yep. I'd rather have it, I guess, done right. So first option, if you guys want to get the expansion tank, get it moved to the other side, um, uh, and get it calibrated. So customer chose, uh, went with option one today. So uh, what we're gonna do is replace their pressure regulator valve, get their pressure down because it was at 145. So we're gonna get it down to 65. Also, we're gonna replace their expansion tank, move it to the other side, and then a uh, new shut off, some water flexes. It's gonna look really good. It's gonna be done how it should have been originally, so. It's what we're doing. Oh, perfect. Thing of beauty. Ooh. Beautiful. Little hot. Are you just putting stuff in my way on purpose? <laughs> Ow. Oh yeah. Talking about. I put the customer first, just try to make them feel comfortable as they can in their own home and just be on their side. 100%. A Little bit of a difference. Looks a lot better to me. It's all nice, solid, rigid. Never have to worry about it. It's doing its job now. Awesome. Okay, Valerie. We will, we will see you Monday. Get ready to get noisy. <laughs> okay, see ya. Okay, so we just finished up our last job in Orem. We actually went over there to give them a bid to rough in and uh, finish their basement. We did our evaluation and we found that their water pressure was 145 PSI, which is a lot. So we replaced their regulator for them 
and then replace their expansion tank as well. So got their house uh, safe and back up to code for them. And then we're gonna return Monday and start the underground process. Looking forward to that. So now we are heading to uh, West Valley. A customer has some issues with their water heater. So we're gonna go take a look at that and give them some options. Good afternoon. How are you? Good, good. What we'll do is look at the water heater and softener. I'll get you a price together on that. And then while we're out, what we like to do is a thorough evaluation. So that mainly consists of checking water pressure, looking over the water heater, which we're gonna do, and just making sure they're good, safe, up to code, everything else. And then we'll go from there. You guys did our air, which is amazing. That's yeah, amazing. awesome. Glad you did. He called the right people. Awesome. So what we want to see is right around 65. Anything over 75 is ooh, getting into high pressure. Okay. So we're at 105. That's a little bit over where we want to be. Okay. okay. Yep, we'll see you. Cool. Have a good day. So that bid, uh, I think, went very well. They weren't ready to do anything at the moment today, just getting the price together. They know the any hour away, how good we are, and I doubt they'll call anybody else to get their water heater done. So right now we're heading to Eagle Mountain. We've got a customer that has a water heater that um, is just not turning on. Uh, it's not leaking or anything like that, so we're gonna go take a look at it, get it figured out for them. Hi there. Good, how you doing? Except for no hot water? Yeah. Uh-oh, <laughs> sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah. Was that leaking from above? And something, I think that one up above is leaking. It looks like these pipes have been sitting in the bottom of the ocean for about a year or so. I mean, not only that, we've got something leaking from up above that could be water heater on the upper level. So we're gonna have to look into that as well. That's bad. I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna give them a courtesy knock. Okay, so we're just gonna try to relight it for now, see if we can just restore hot water temporarily for them. Hey, is this Dan? Hey Dan, this is Eric with Any Hour. So the other thing we're looking at is that upstairs unit, um, the people above you is actually leaking down onto your water heater into that mechanical area there. Okay, so we just talked to the landlord. Um, he needs to talk to the HOA so they can get a hold of the person that owns that upper unit so they can get that fixed. But it sounds like we're gonna go ahead and do it tomorrow for them, as long as we can get everything else figured out, so. Overall, it was a good day. It was a really good day, very productive. Um, we went in, our first call was just a, it was just supposed to be a, you know, an estimate, a bid, and we found some high water pressure issues and got those solved for the customer, so. For me, ultimately, that's a good day. And we're uh, heading home now and gonna go relax. Well guys, thanks for riding along with me. It's been awesome. It was a great day. I gotta walk the dog, so peace. All on the spot. Okay, we got you this time. <laughs> <laughs>